This video features Apple CarPlay for the Honda Odyssey years 2014 to 2017. In this video, HDMI mirroring. HDMI mirroring demo. Press and hold the back button. Go on to HDMI, select it. Hit enter, and there you go. Maybe a Netflix. It says not playing on your TV. And you have the Netflix on the screen, or you can mirror the entire phone. Whatever you see on your phone will show here, iPhone and Android. In this video, Apple CarPlay. Now press and hold the back button, press enter, and you're going to see the Apple CarPlay on the screen. Control with the joystick, you got all the apps, Google Maps over here, you got Waze, Tuner Radio, and all the other apps, you got many pages. In this video, Android Auto. Press and hold the back button. Select with the joystick Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Hit enter and there you go. You got your Android Auto. All controlled with the factory joystick. Just like 100% original. You can change all the features. Go into the audio. Open the menu by pushing left. Closing by pushing right. Going back to the maps. 100% original Android Auto. This is a two-part video. Part one is operation of the product as shown on the Acura MDX. Part two is disassembly of the vehicle and installation of the product which is shown on the Honda Odyssey. The Honda Odyssey and the Acura MDX have identical screens. Naftool established 2002. See description below the video for product information. Must expand description section if watching this video on mobile device. This is a demo of iPhone Android smartphone mirroring with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus four camera inputs. Interface compatible with Honda and Acura vehicles dual or single screen with or without factory joystick. This interface does not replace factory radio factory screen. This interface enhances the factory screen with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring and extra cameras. All factory features work as before. This interface is a see-through. The vehicle does not detect that the interface is installed in the car. This product is 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. This product is 100% automotive grade product. Apple CarPlay feature of the interface. Now let's test Apple CarPlay. Connect your phone. Apple CarPlay will appear on the phone. This is real CarPlay. You can press and hold the back button to switch. Then we can go, you see Apple CarPlay highlighted on the right hand side. We got Apple CarPlay logo and on the CarPlay mode. You rotate to the CarPlay and you enter. Keep in mind, CarPlay only comes one way and one way only. It is inside your phone. CarPlay does not exist anywhere else. iPhone only exists inside your phone. All updates today or 20 years from now happen only inside your phone. You never have to worry about updating it. This hardware never have to be updated. As your phone updates with new apps, it will appear automatically here. In any car, CarPlay is the same. This CarPlay is same as it would be in 2018 Acura MDX. Same control with the joystick. So all the apps, everything works. You got Waze, you got Google Maps, you got everything. So TuneIn Radio, for example, one of my favorite apps. Hit enter. It's going to load up TuneIn Radio. Let's do local radio station. Obviously have to be an auxiliary. Press enter and it's going to load. Want to hear the backstory back on your favorite country stars? And now we have the audio. Alright, so you got the CarPlay on the screen. And you can control whatever apps you want. So if you want to go into podcast, the daily, and it's going to play whatever you have on the screen. So in this place, from the New York Times, pause, play. This pause, is the daily. Play. Pause. You can rotate. To highlight other options, so skip, go back 30, skip forward. From the New York Times, I'm Michael Barbaro. This, and then you can use any other app with the audio playing. So we're not gonna do that. Press back, back to go back. 
We got the phone. You can do the phone call and get your text messages, obviously. Everything is just like in any car. This is not some kind of mirroring this Apple CarPlay. You got your three recent apps here. So if you want to select TuneIn Radio, there you go. Uh, let's go check out uh, Waze. So we got the Waze application that we can enter. Let's go ahead and enter Waze. You got the Waze on the screen. Through the microphone, you can say what you want to do, or you can control on the screen because the interesting part is that when you're in the CarPlay mode with Waze, it gives you a special screen over here that lets you choose. Um, uh, let's refocus the screen so you actually get the menu on the screen. Other than that, you just enter destination and go. So this is CarPlay, just like any car. CarPlay can be operated two way. Touch screen with the joystick, same as 2018 MDX. This is exactly how the CarPlay works in 2018 MDX. You got all the same features. To get out, you rotate the joystick all the way to the home button over here. Enter and gets out of the home. You got the phone calls, obviously. You got your regular maps, which are the Apple maps. You got your um, Google Maps. So let's go ahead and enter Google Maps. And you got your Google Maps. You got settings. You can do satellite maps if you want to. You can get out of the satellite maps and the regular maps. You can add destinations. You know, everything is basically here. If you want to go to the phone, this is your recent. You can dial the phone number here if you really like. You can do 789-553-1212. And that's it. You can call anybody you want. You can go ahead and call. Hang up. If you go into recent here, so over here, the top one shows you the app that is running right now, which is the phone. Then you can switch into the maps. And then if you want, again, so Google Maps are on top now. If you want to switch to TuneIn Radio, change the station, you go to TuneIn Radio. This is regular CarPlay. Whatever features you have from Apple, that's how it's going to work. We didn't invent anything new. That's all you get. That's all from Apple. So this is all HD quality image is original to the one in 2018 MDX or any other car with CarPlay. On the video you might not see but it's crisp HD image all the apps see we got a bunch of apps you obviously got Google Maps bunch of radio apps you got Waze of course regular Apple Maps text messages phone calling so this is CarPlay CarPlay that's on your phone so when our CarPlay is working we have the audio through auxiliary we can go ahead and use it and phone button Siri you install the microphone and you have the Siri in the car to get out of the CarPlay into a regular menu click return and it gets out of the CarPlay Android Auto feature of the interface now let's test Android Auto connect the Android phone once we connect the Android phone the Android Auto is gonna come on the screen so we're gonna go into Android Auto and Android Auto is booting up. In a second, Android Auto will appear on a the screen. There you go. Now we have Android Auto. Same thing, all controls are factory. You need to get into this menu on the bottom. You press down. Now we're able to highlight, follow the highlight. Maps, calls, main menu. To get out, last one, press enter. One more time return to and it's going to rotate and it's going to return to the factory screen if you want to go back you go back now again we're on the factory screen if you got audio this is here but if you need to go to the down menu press down your audio apps are over here you need to open this for the menu so you go up to the left or press left radio press right to close press left to open press right to close press left to open go back 
go back you got your navigation maps you can select again press down go to the maps and you can use Google Maps or Android Auto depends on what you got so you can go ahead and enter the maps and if you press down the highlighters over here you can change between Google Maps and Waze so we're gonna stay in Google Maps and over here you got the search you got all the controls so on the left you get your maps to get out go to the right and follow the highlight wherever the gray highlight is that's what you get to select it's same as Android Auto in any other car such as such as 2018 Acura MDX you never have to worry about updates Android Auto is always updated inside the phone and in the phone only all the apps all the updates and again just like Android Auto in 2018 MDX or any other car with Android Auto controls with the joystick and you get all the controls we know Android Auto is working so we're good to go here HDMI mirroring feature of the interface now let's test HDMI input you can connect anything to HDMI that is 720p or more you can connect our mirroring device which is wireless for iPhone and Android for Android we always recommend getting wireless device for iPhone we recommend using Apple's own lighting to HDMI adapter you're not inside the living room so you can nicely route the cable into the armrest area so it's not like across living room you have a cable it is nicely routed inside and you just plug in your phone and you have the mirroring let's test that let's connect our phone and let's see what we get on the screen so we're going to go ahead and connect the phone through HDMI cable and after we connect the phone it should appear on the screen there is no limit Netflix Hulu all video apps work without any limit so let's go ahead and get this working press and hold the back button you activate the interface and the standard is HDMI and four cameras the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is optional module that we pre-install inside the interface so it's all in one adapter but if it's grayed out which means either the cable is not connected or you didn't purchase the module but the HDMI will always be there let's go ahead and select HDMI click enter we have the YouTube here so the YouTube video plays so basically whatever you see on the phone screen you'll see identical on the car screen if we turn it, it's gonna be this way if we get out obviously it's going to be so whatever you see on the phone that's what you see on the car screen but there you go you got your 4k video keep in mind if you got the iPhone X any iPhone with a notch when you mirror even with Apple TV it will not be full screen so any phone with a notch that's how the video looks in mirroring even with Apple TV because we're mirroring we're not streaming the video we're doing the mirror image so that's how it works if you zoom in on the video right you see it makes the original and then it zoomed in to fill but otherwise it's gonna be full screen let me show you some other app like Netflix it's going to be full screen so let's switch to Netflix and when you see Netflix Netflix is going to be full as you can see on the screen when the video loads it's going to go ahead and be a full screen so the video is loading and you see it says now playing on your TV but the video is actually taken up entire full screen so you don't have any problems it's edge to edge and you can see beautiful HD everything is HD this is not analog input this is full high definition alright so we know our HDMI is working properly and after we test that you can connect any 720p device to the HDMI input you can do wired the wireless again Apple is preferred to be wired that's how Apple designed the phones and iPhone is wired preferred way route the cable nicely into your armrest or whatever you're gonna have the interface sitting route it in there for Android it's recommended wireless because most Androids don't have HDMI output interface installation step one 
vehicle disassembly. Removing the radio. First, we're going to remove this part on the left of the shifter. You need to remove this cover to access the screws. So take plastic tool, something like that, put it in and unpop the panel. So the panel is just held by the bunch of clips in the back. It just comes out. Next part, we're going to remove the part on the side of the radio. Just pop it again from the bottom and this panel just comes out. Again, it's just held by the bunch of clips. And all you do is just remove those clips to get the panel out. Go. Now we're going to remove this entire panel, starting from the left, going all the way to the right. So this way we can access screws here and here. So again, using a trim panel, you're going to go ahead and start from the bottom. And the panel just comes out. It just clips holding. There's no screws. Just work your way up. You can use your hands. But it's just the whole panel is going to come out all the way to the right. There's not a single screw holding it so you don't have to worry about it. Just pull it out and it just pulls out. The whole panel is out and now in the back over here you just gotta remove uh, the plugs so you can move the panel out of the way. So you got three connectors here. There's your connectors. One, two, three and the whole panel is held by the clips and move it away. Now we need to remove the screen to remove the screen, we need to remove these two screws and the screw over here using a Phillips screwdriver. Pull the screen out and you will need to access the connector in the back for the installation. The connector that you need is right here on top. This is the connector you're going to unplug and you're not going to use it anymore because you're going to install the connector from us. So previously, this cable goes from here down into the radio. Now it's going to go from here into our interface and back into the radio, which we'll show you next step. So this connector unplugged and we're going to go back to that. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the radio on the bottom. Now remove four screws. You got two screws here and two screws over here. Once you remove those screws, you'll be able to access back of the radio. Now remove four screws here, two here and two up there so we can make this panel a little bit more loose so we can have access to the other screws. After you remove those screws on the right and the left hand side on the floor you'll find these two panels. This one is on the right hand side it just pops out as you can see it's just held by the clips. Just pop it out on the left hand side you'll find the same kind of panel also held by the clips and one plastic pin so you remove the plastic pin and then the panel also pops out and on each side you will find screws that are holding this panel in so you can kind of open a little bit move it out of the place so you can have access to remove the radio once you have access to that you can go ahead and remove the radio and you will have access to all the connectors that you need to access in the back alright so this is your radio removed you can leave it hanging like that or somebody helping you to hold it and we can continue to the installation of the product Step two, product installation. Now that we have everything removed, let's see what we have in the box. What's in the box? In the box, we have main interface that is made in USA. We got main plug, we got two digital plugs. This side goes to the radio. This goes to the screen. On the other side, we got USB port for charging the phone or if you purchased a built-in CarPlay that's inside the box so if you purchase CarPlay Android Auto this will also connect for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto you can neatly route the wire into your Santa console or anywhere you prefer for the CarPlay connection this is HDMI if you want to do the mirroring and this is the port to flash the software into the interface then in the box you got a harness and if you purchase the CarPlay you got a microphone input for CarPlay and Android Auto this connects here, we're going to show it to you in a second you got a second harness that provides the power and data to the box. You got the main harness that plugs into the interface. If your car has a DVD player, we sell an additional harness. This is not a part of the package, but you can purchase it to feed the video from factory DVD into the front screen. And then you got your audio input. This is the harness so you can hear HDMI, Apple CarPlay to factory speakers. All right. Now, take this box to the computer and program it. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank 
as they need to be configured by the installer or end user. Programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. How to update the software? It doesn't matter what you're updating, whether you're updating camera interface, video in motion interface, wireless mirroring interface, or Apple CarPlay interface. The process of update is identical. Updater works on Mac and Windows based PC, so we have for both Windows and Mac. To update, you need a cable like this, it's a standard cable. One end of the cable is micro USB and the other is a standard USB. This goes into the computer and the micro USB goes into the interface. Connect this end into the computer, Mac or Windows. Connect the other end into your interface you're updating. Again, any interface. Once the interface is connected, everything information is going to appear on the screen and install desired software. Just for the test purposes, we're going to show you how to update it with uh, Cadillac CTS software, video in motion, and hit install. So now it's installing and shows you progress bar and a percentage. So it takes only seconds to update it. So you download the updater from the website for Mac or Windows, that's gonna take you approximately 60 seconds. And then the update process takes only another minute or so. This is how to update the interface. So we're showing you the update process and the entire process only takes less than a minute. Okay, the update process is done and it's 99%. It says do not disconnect. In about a second, it's going to tell you that it's complete and you can disconnect the interface. There you go. Device settings updated and you're done. So entire update process takes only about two minutes. You download software from the website for Mac on Windows, about a minute, and update takes another minute. And all you need is a cable like this. So USB cable to micro USB. Interface installation process. Okay, so let's start the installation. On the radio, find a matching harness for this cable. It's located right here. You can unplug it. Plug this in. The other end goes in here. This is going to connect to the main harness. Second harness is the audio harness. Find the matching harness back of the radio. Unplug it. Plug the harness in here. Oh, that's the other one. It is on the bottom here. So I'm gonna unplug this one. I'm gonna unplug this one so we can gain access to the right harness. And then we're going to unplug this one. This is all the way in the bottom here. Unplug it. Plug this in here. Plug the factory harness in here. Plug this one back into its location. Plug this one back into its location. Then unplug this gray one, and you're going to leave this unplugged completely. So I'm unplug it, and you're not going to plug it in anymore. Harness a little bit hard to come out, so you want to maybe use a tool to press on it. This you're not going to replug anymore. This stays unplugged. Take one of the two supplied cables. They are 100% identical. Choose one of the two. Plug it in here. Then take this harness. It plugs in here on the bottom, all the way on the bottom here. There's a release lock, so this cable has a release. So you want to press on the release to open it. So press on the release and open it. Take this and insert and close it. Take the other end, put it into the radio. Now, 
take the main harness that came with the interface. You got this 10 pin cable over here. This 10 pin connects to the 10 pin from the matching harness. It's over here, connect them together. You can open up the tie wrap to make it big to expose the harness. Then you got the 14 pin that plugs in into this. Then we have audio cables. They need to be connected to the audio cables of the interface together. You can use cables like this, any kind of short or longer male to male RCAs. You got red and white. Plug this in here. Plug this in here. Then you got the two other ends. Plug it in here and plug it in here. Then you have one more cable that you need to connect to the back of the screen. Back of the screen, you connect the other cable. That's the last cable you're connecting. So if you remember, you have a cable that we unplugged previously. It's the cable all the way on top here. You're gonna plug it in and you're gonna route the cable through the back. For now, we're just putting it here because we wanna test everything. You don't wanna close the car before you test everything. So then what you gotta do is you're gonna take this interface and you're gonna start plugging everything in. The cable that's coming from the radio, this is your cable coming from the top screen, it goes into the middle one. Then you have a cable that's coming from the radio, so on the bottom it's the radio. You plug it in here. Everything else is already connected, so you just gotta take the main harness and plug it into the box. And now, before you start closing everything and making the wires nice, you wanna test to make sure everything works. You want to observe the LEDs, so one LED is blinking, in a few seconds the second LED is going to come on, you're going to hear the noise, which means the interface is activated. Now what we want to do is, we want to make sure to test that everything works, and then you're going to go and see everything else. So we want to put the radio back into its position temporarily. So now you want to test everything, you want to press and hold the back button, you're going to hear the beep and you want to make sure that the screen enters the menu. So you got the HDMI input, and if you purchased Apple CarPlay Android Auto, you have the Apple CarPlay Android Auto interface, and you have an ability to add, since the car has a factory rear view camera, you have an ability to add front and side cameras. And now we're going to proceed to test the rest of the installation. So on the radio, what you want to do is you want to go into the audio source, and you want to set the audio source to auxiliary. This way you're going to hear the video from all your sources, you know, such as uh, HDMI or um, Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Set the radio to auxiliary, so your auxiliary audio input is active. So now you can test to hear if the audio is playing through HDMI or Apple CarPlay. It's the same source, so we're going to choose for testing Apple CarPlay. Go. Now connect your iPhone and the CarPlay is going to appear on the screen. And after the CarPlay appears, you're going to see it in the menu. All controls are done with the factory joystick. So everything that you control is done through this joystick. You got the back button. This is rotate to control everything back. So basically everything is done through the, through the factory buttons just like a, it would come from factory. So on the screen, we got Apple CarPlay. Now, you control everything from the joystick. So follow the highlight. Where you put the highlight, that's where it's gonna go. And it's gonna rotate everything. The back button is gonna bring it back, obviously. You can go into any application, just like any other car with a controller, BMW, Audi, or any other vehicle that has the hardware controller. So you got a bunch of applications and you know everything works so we want to check the audio now so to check the audio we're going to go into tune in application and inside the tune in radio we're just going to play any radio station and we're going to see how the audio control works to make sure that it goes through the speakers instead happy listening all right so we know we got the audio that works no problem. We can pause the audio, we can play the audio. So we don't have any problems with the audio here. And now that we know that the audio works, we can continue with Pizza. testing HDMI. 
Introducing Pocket Casts, the world's most powerful podcasting right, platform. So now we have the audio. To get out of the carplay into the main menu, you hit, you hit the return. You see the return, hit enter, it gets out. You can take your phone, and if you install the HDMI cable or wireless adapter, depends how you want to mirror you're using one of the Apple Lightning to HDMI adapters, you just plug into the bottom of the phone. All right, then once you plug it in, you go into the HDMI, and right there you see your phone. So now you can see the phone mirrored, and if you launch any application that is full size, it's going to basically, you know, if we're going to, let's say, photos, and we're going to go into, uh, let's say, we got a picture, so any picture that you have, it's going to be right on the screen now. So we got like screenshots and they all appear. So now, now we know that 100% that everything works. This is like when you scroll through a lot of pictures really fast. So we know that everything works. And that's it. So we have the audio, we have CarPlay, we have HDMI. We have cameras. So we know the factory camera works in reverse. You got your factory camera and it goes back to your previous source. If you want to get out of the HDMI, just on the remote, press enter, press back or rotate the wheel and it's going to get out. And if you want to enter the CarPlay, you enter the CarPlay. Please keep in mind, if you're doing mirroring on iPhone using the cable Lightning to HDMI adapter from Apple, CarPlay must be used without this. So if you have CarPlay, it cannot be used with this. CarPlay it works with a regular charging cable with this just basic um, USB cable. And now you can go back to the beginning to see full operation, the way it's done in the dual screen uh, Honda and Acura vehicles. Go back to the beginning of the video for feature testing and operation. Thank you for watching. Please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions work on smartphones, tablets, and computers. Please like the video and leave a comment. If you'd like to watch another video, please click the link on the right hand side.